Okay, we're going to start to show how we got to our current composition. We were working on 9. Which has a seam line up here, has a harp cadence line here, and then we started figuring out alternative uh, cadences that could be used here, here, and here. So then we made t started making 10, which had to turn those cadences into separate arpeggios. And then we picked and chose from the arpeggios, like we uh, down here, created what we call a, a composite arpeggio here. And then we doubled it to get a fast arpeggio, and then we doubled that to get a double fast arpeggio, which finally brought us over to here, which is the grand uh, finale piece that we're going to play for you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion Part 71 Assurance. In this uh, particular stream, we re-entered by reflecting that 9 and 10, which you just saw, have continued to drag us along to where they wanted to go. We started out with some theory and some ideas and some notes, and then they said, okay, we're taking over. Um, it's kind of a texture piece. Um, and again, we had that kind of love-hate uh, building it up. We liked how it sounded, we didn't like how it sound, etc. cetera. Um, we think we're done. We'll find out next time. And with 10, we're now getting that reverb volume pan effect using the Muse, uh, this program only, without going through a reverb processor. So uh, what we're going to do is play this version for you, and then that should bring us home. So here we go. <laughs> So that ends today's stream. What we like about this piece, um, despite our kind of arguing about it, we kind of like how it takes over and keeps suggesting things to do. We like our new work methods where we had backup minus one and nine and all that. We like the three against the two. You can see it right here. Here's two triplets and here's four triplets. Um, but there's actually a three and a, and a four of going on. There's a two, two, three effect going on. Um, we also made an animation, which we'll show you just the beginning of here. So that's been turning out pretty good. We, we've been trying to get uh, 
smoothly shimmering colors going and we think we got a good shot at it there. So ideas for next time are to double check uh, composition 10. Are we done? Uh, make a score recording and share work to date. And we have a couple other little ideas uh, not tried yet. Shout outs to Mr. Spatz and Miss Cleo who stopped by. We appreciate you. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care, do come back, and do keep on streaming.